Hey, welcome to UK World Crafts. So in this video, I'll show you how you can do a spore print. A spore print is a really useful way to make sure that you've got the correct identification of certain mushrooms. So I'll be doing a spore print of these mushrooms. These are velvet shanks. It is a good idea to do a spore print of these mushrooms if you're quite new to foraging them, because they do have some poisonous lookalikes in the sulfur tuft and the funeral bell which is deadly poisonous. So when we're doing a spore print what we're looking for mainly is the colour of the spores. Now velvet shanks will leave a white spore print whereas sulphur tuft and funeral bell will both leave a brown spore print. So if you've gone through the other identification features of the velvet shank and you're still not a hundred percent then I would advise you to do a spore print. Actually doing a spore print is quite simple, you don't need much in the way of equipment. All you really need to do is do it straight onto paper if you want, but I've found the best way of doing it is to get a bit of glass or perspex and then have white and black paper or card. If you do it straight onto paper, if the spores are white and you do it onto white paper then they're not going to be very visible. But if you do it onto perspex or glass, then you can put it over different colored papers to make, them, to make the spores show up. So when you're selecting your mushrooms, it's better to use a more mature specimen because it's, uh, it's more likely to release the spores. If you use like a really young one like this, it might not release spores. So what we want to do is to just take out the stem. If they pull out easy enough, do that. If not, cut them off with a knife. And then get your mushroom and place it gill side down onto the perspex. And then you want to get something like a glass to go over the top, just to stop any sort of breeze or wind blowing the spores away and because I'm expecting white spores to come out of this I'm going to do it on a black background and then leave it. You want to leave it for at least four hours what I generally do is leave it overnight and then have a look at it in the morning. Okay so they've been left Overnight, that'll be plenty of time for the mushrooms to release their spores. So let's take a look. So you just want to carefully remove the covers and then lift up the mushrooms. And there you can see these spore prints that have been left. So you can see they're nice, clearly white spores. So I can tell that these are definitely velvet shank mushrooms. So if they would have been brown spores then <coughs> I would look at them possibly being sulfur tufts or funeral bells. One more thing you want to do is just push these spores together because they can uh, show up their colour better sometimes when they're more concentrated. Some mushrooms like bluets, they have like a, a pale pink coloured spore and that sometimes doesn't show up until they're all pushed together. <laughs> 